So Samsung has just revealed the launch date for its shiny new 2023 flagship smartphones. And if you're getting all hot and bothered about these fresh new Galaxy S23 blowers, well, Sammy will reveal all on the 1st of February at 10 a.m. PST or 6 p.m. here in Blighty at its very first Galaxy Unpacked event of the year. The first of many unpacked events in 2023, no doubt. Those guys never stop. They probably pour bloody Red Bull on their cornflakes. This event is being held in San Francisco, but it will be streamed live on Samsung's website and YouTube channels so you can enjoy it from the comfort of your living room or maybe the bedroom if you really, really like smartphones. But of course, you don't actually have to wait until next month to learn all about the Galaxy S23, the S23 Plus and the S23 Ultra because so far they've been leakier than a pair of candy floss underpants. So here's a roundup of all of that hot internet gossip and if you're tempted you can actually reserve yourself one of these new Galaxy smartphones and bag yourself a bit of Samsung credit to boot as well. Full details in the link in the description below. So what can we actually expect from Samsung's fresh smartphones? Well, according to their own press release, the new Galaxy S series will be the epitome of how we define the ultimate premium experience. We are raising the bar and setting new standards for what's epic. Wow. They're really not f***ing about, eh? However, that rather enthusiastic ejaculation and self-trumpet puffer doesn't exactly marry up with many of the rumours and leaks flying around online, which suggests that the S23 series will be more like gentle refinements of last year's S22 blowers. These renders right here, spaffed onto the internet by OnLeaks, show that all three phones will sport an S22 Ultra-style design, with those camera lenses jutting straight out of the back end. That camera bump has been culled completely from the regular and the plus sized models. I've got to admit, I'm not a massive fan of that Galaxy S22 Ultra design. It's just a little bit too plain and simple for my own personal taste, especially for a blow that costs over a grand. For that sort of asking price, I would expect a little bit more flair. But on the plus side, you can expect Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the front and the back end, separated by armor aluminium, just like the previous gen. While according to Snoopy Tech, Samsung's official launch colours are Cotton Flower, Misty Lilac, Botanic Green and Phantom Black. 6 out of 10 for Ponzi name in there, must try harder. As far as the sizing of these smartphones is concerned, it sounds like Samsung has basically stuck with the same dimensions as the previous generation. So the regular S23 will be a pleasingly compact 6.1 inches, while the Plus and Ultra versions are 6.6 and 6.8 inches respectively. So there's perhaps nothing particularly epic about the design, but of course it's all about the lovely tech that's stuffed inside of the Galaxy S23 smartphones, that's what really matters. And apparently this trio will be powered by Qualcomm's fresh Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. Now that's not exactly a massive shocker, as most flagship smartphones emerging in early 2023 should be powered by that Qualcomm chipset, including the likes of Oppo's Find X6 Pro, the Xiaomi 13 series, yada yada yada. I've already done a sort of video thingy about the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It's not very good, but I do wear a lovely red bucket hat for reasons that are too pointless to explain here, so go check that out for the full skinny. But the 8 Gen 2 basically offers incredible multitasking performance, impressive efficiency, and a wealth of fantastic features including next level gaming support. Of course, usually the UK version of the Galaxy S series smartphones isn't powered by a Snapdragon chipset. It's powered by one of Samsung's own Exynos platforms instead. But the big whoop for the S23 series is apparently Exynos is out and we're going to get that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 just like our US cousins. whoopity do. And recent leaks also point to a bit of a battery boost for at least one or two of the S23 smartphones. That'll be particularly important for the regular model because last year's S22 sported a meager 3,700 mAh battery and frankly its staying power was a bit shonky. But for the next generation apparently that will be boosted to 3,900 mAh and that combined with the energy efficient Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 hopefully means decent battery life at long last. Just don't expect any improvements to the charging speed. Samsung seems to be playing it slightly cautious on that side, shall we say. But you should get wireless charging across the board on the S23 phones. Most of the other rumoured specs are unsurprising, with practically identical displays slapped on all three smartphones, the same memory and storage configs, and camera hardware that sounds mostly unchanged compared with the S22 range. That is, unless you spaff out extra moolah on the Ultra model, which should sport a new 200 megapixel HP2 sensor of Samsung's own creation. 
Most leaks point to improved night photography on all three of Samsung's Galaxy S23 blows, especially the Ultra with that upgraded sensor. It looks like the regular S23 and the S23 Plus will have to rely mostly on advanced image processing for the improved picture quality. And better low light photography would certainly help to keep these phones competitive in a world where the likes of Xiaomi and Oppo and Vivo and Google are spunking out delightfully flexible camera experiences. So that right there is a quick roundup of the tastiest and likeliest S23 rumours that are circling on the internet right now. But don't forget, the imminent launch of the Galaxy S23 smartphones means that the existing Galaxy S22 phones from last year should be enjoying a bit of a price drop, certainly over the next sort of couple of weeks or so. And as the Galaxy S23 smartphones don't exactly seem like a massive evolution over the previous generation, it might be worth just saving a bit of cash and just jumping on the S22s instead. Definitely check out the shopping links in this video to see exactly what is happening there in terms of pricing. And it does look like if you already own an S22, you probably don't have a massive amount of reason to upgrade to the latest S23s, but that's just based on the leaks and rumours. Of course, Samsung might have lots of super snazzy, tricksy secret stuff to reveal at Unpacked, we'll find out on February the 1st. But what do you guys reckon at home? Definitely be great to hear your early thoughts. Please do pong subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers.